Have you ever tried to work with a JSON file, only to be stopped in your tracks by pesky null values? It can be incredibly frustrating, right? If that sounds like you, stick around because today we're diving into how to deserialize a JSON file with Surti, even when it contains those tricky null values. I totally get it. You've set up your structure, derived the necessary macros, and yet, when you hit those null values, everything comes crashing down. You're not alone in this struggle. Many developers face similar issues when working with JSON data. Here's the specific situation we're tackling. One user asked how to deserialize a chemical elements JSON file from GitHub using Surti. They created a structure with all the needed fields but ran into trouble with fields that contain null values, like the color of helium. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what's happening here? When Surde encounters a null value for a field that expects a string, it throws an error. This can be a real roadblock, especially when you want to avoid writing a visitor trait. But don't worry, we'll find a solution together. And hang tight. I've got a neat trick to share at the end that will help you handle these null values effortlessly. You won't want to miss it. To handle null values in the JSON file, the user can modify the structure of the element. Specifically, they should change the type of the fields that may contain null values to an option type. Next, the user should update the structure definition. This allows Surde to interpret null values as none, which is a valid state for option types. After making these changes, the user can attempt to deserialize the JSON file again. This time, Surde will successfully handle the null values without throwing an error. Finally, the user should test the deserialization process with various elements from the JSON file to ensure that all fields are processed correctly, including those with null values. Fun fact, did you know that the chemical symbol for helium is He? It's derived from the Greek word for the sun, Helios, because it was first discovered in the solar spectrum. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution provided by another user involves using a custom deserialization function. This function allows you to handle null values by providing default values during deserialization. This method works not only for strings, but also for other types like vectors and hash maps, ensuring that your deserialization process is robust against null values. Here's the trick I promised. By using option types, you can gracefully handle null values without running into errors. This small change can save you a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. You should now be able to deserialize your JSON file without any issues. Remember, using option types is a powerful way to handle potential null values. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks.